In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take the first of several looks at using a brand new tool called the Shape Designer. It's part of PowerDirector version 18 or PowerDirector 365. Let's assume that we are looking at a video like the one you see on the screen and we'd like to create an object that we can use in this video or in another project. So we're going to see what we can do with the Shape Designer. So let's see how we get to it. First thing I need to do is click on the third icon from the top. It's my PIP Objects room, or I can press the F5 key. And now I see the PIP Objects that are loaded into my system. But in version 18, or 365, we have a brand new icon at the top. It consists of a circle, triangle, and rectangle. And when I click on that, hover over it, it says Create New Shape. That gets me into my Shape Designer. So we'll do that right now. Now we see the Shape Designer screen. We have a preview screen that occupies most of the visible area. And then we have some shape types. We have a box, a square box, which begins with a square. You can realign it to a rectangle. We have a straight line. We have an arrow line. We have a double-headed arrow. We also have a rounded box, a box with rounded corners. Starts out again as a square. We have a circle that you can turn into an ellipse. We have a triangle. And then we have a cloud. Then you have several different kinds of arrows, one pointing right, one left, one up, one down. Then we have, I, I think these are also called arrows or markers. We have one pointing right, one pointing left, and then we have a chevron type one and another one in the opposite direction. Then we have some speech bubbles. We have a rectangular one, rounded rectangular, cloud, circle or oval, and then this rather odd one over here. So those are the 21 shapes you can start with. Uh, I haven't found a way to import your own shape in this kind of tool, but maybe that will come with some upgrade in the future. So you can begin by working with any of these. Let's just start out with a circle. The second option we have is a shape preset. I'll open up that window, and in this panel you see that there are eight different settings that you can apply to your object. When I click on each of them, you see the difference it makes on the screen. And so you can start with one of these and then modify it infinitely. But there are only eight, but they are suggestive of different kinds of color, outline, shadow modifications that you can make to your shape. And then we have an option called Fill. Now this is where you can begin to modify a preset or design yours from scratch and you see tools that are common to many of the features in the design windows in CyberLink PowerDirector. You can change the blur of the fill. You can change its opacity. And you can change the gradient. Here we have a two color gradient. If I want to go from blue to dark blue, I simply click on the other color. The end with color will change a solid blue. And now we've changed that. What we want to do, perhaps, is change the direction of the gradient. We simply drag the circle around any part of 360. And that's how you can modify the fill, whether you start with a preset or not. The next one is the outline. And you have three different options for outline. You can do a solid outline. You can do a heavy dotted outline or a light dotted outline. And then there's a cap and join option. You have round or flat. Then the size of the outline. You can make it extremely thick, or you can make it very thin or, or almost non-existent. We'll go with thick for now. And then again, you can blur the outline or make it very crisp and change the opacity as well. The outline, just like the fill, can have a uniform color anything you choose. Let's just take a white right now. Or you can also do a two color gradient. And in neither of these controls can you do a four color gradient. So this is one that we could start with now. And then if you do a gradient, you also can have the same gradient direction. Another feature that we have that's basic is a shadow. 
I'll open the shadow panel and you can apply the shadow to the object only, the object and the outline, or to the outline only. And you can control the distance of the shadow, the blurriness of the shadow, the opacity, and you can also do a fill shadow and control the fill color related to the shadow and the direction of the shadow, of course, as well, anywhere around the 360 compass. So those are some of the options. Now we have another one called Title we'll get into next time because that's a very unique feature of this. We also have a box up here called Keyframing, and we'll get into that in the next lesson on the new Shape Designer as well.